right, guys, we are unboxing today. I have no clue what is in this box. Is there anything in this box? It's not living. Oh, black opal. Hey, hey, hey. Oh my, that is really, really beautiful. Probably the most beautiful thing we've seen in this series. There's the black of the black opal. The front here has quite a bit of play of color. It's really light, very thin. A variety of colors I can see in here. Yellows, orange, green. This black opal is from Australia. Australia was one of the most important places in the opal business. It was the only place that we were really getting opal until the 1990s when Ethiopia and opal was discovered. Now Australia produces the most opal dollar-wise, but Ethiopia produces the most opal carrot-wise. Australia and Ethiopia really are the kings of the opal business. So black opal is actually only found in Lightning Ridge, Australia. It's very famous for its black opal because of this reason. And the people that live there, they're kind of like the cowboys of the Australian Wild West. People are there looking for opal with a desire to strike it rich. They like working for themselves. It's really an interesting mining community. And when you are mining opal, it's found in nodules and in seams. And it's definitely a treasure hunt down there. You can find opal all the way back through history. It was actually mentioned in Shakespeare's Twelfth Night. There was kind of some superstition around it. It was thought that it had the virtues of all the stones because you had so many colors in there. So if a red stone, green, and yellow give you these virtues, it was thought that opal actually possessed that as well because of that play of color. So there's actually a legend that if you wrap an opal in a bay leaf, you will be invisible. Should we test that out? <laughs> Ooh, do I have another box? No card. Ooh, okay, I know what this is. This is called common opal or potch. You can see right there, there's like some rough spots and you can see a little play of color, but this is still cool because you can see like the actual matrix of how opal is made. So what's neat right there is like you see the rock around it where it was, you know, like the host rock. And then you can kind of see that there's a little like bluish purple under there doesn't have the play of color that you see in this. All right, Natalie, what's play of color? You see that like rainbow effect on top of the stone. It's that different pattern of different colors. Play of color, it comes from these silica spheres and they're stacked together and it's like 3D. The light is basically bouncing off all these silica spheres and you get these different colors based on the size of the silica spheres. Say silica spheres 10 times fast, because I know my mouth, I can't talk right now. Spheres, silica spheres, silica spheres, sil Nope. Write it down in the comments how many times you can say that without messing it up. I got about three. So what's really cool about black opals is that it actually fluoresces under black light. I have the greatest production team and they actually got me a black light. So we're gonna do a really cool science experiment today. And I have my black light set up to a clapper, so. My teeth are glowing. This opal, it's kind of like a whitish color. It looks like I swapped out the opal for marble. So this black light is actually long wave ultraviolet light. And when we put this opal next to it, that fluorescence is the atoms getting really, really excited. They jump another level and the energy is released as this fluorescence. Let's take a look at that common opal. I suspect that some of this will fluoresce and other parts won't. And I was right, look at that. You can see where there's opal and then where there's just the host rock. You can see the opal actually fluorescing. The atoms are getting very excited. So these black lights are kind of hurting my eyes. It's time to jump back to the regular light. I like this stone without the black light way better. Take a closer look here at the play of color and all of those wonderful hues on one stone. Parts of that potch opal would actually fluoresce. If you liked our episode today, don't forget to like and subscribe. And you really don't want to miss out on future episodes where we talk all about that crazy awesome world of gemology.